they're not fighting. They were. Okay. Children? Are you behaving? No. <laughs> Wait, where are the children? This is one child. What? Anyway, oh, uh, okay. Madman, I'd recommend potions of speed and invulnerability. Yeah. Speed gives you one minute unconcentrated haste and invulner. You know what? Yeah, yeah. Is. So let's buy 100 each of those two. Uh, I would not recommend that because five cost me 10,000 or 12,000. Okay. okay, let's buy so. 10 of each. Is this a concentrated effort to spend all of the money in one session? <laughs> well, no, I'm spending on, on logistical things, you know, yeah. stuff that'll help us in combat later, yeah. but... Okay, so, Doc, also, 10, 10 potions of invulnerability, 10 potions of speed, and 100 potions of greater healing. Okay. Um, 10 potions of speed? Mm-hmm. That's 24,000. Okay. 10 potions of greater healing? No, uh, potions of invulnerability. 10 potions of invulnerability are 6,000 each, so that's 60,000. Okay. Um, and 100 potions of greater healing. And 100 potions of greater healing are is 20,000. Oh, uh, what's what's the big one? Massive healing. Uh, is there, there a big one? Yes, it's superior. Healing. Okay, yeah, it's let's rare. do. Let's go with that one. Okay. That would be a thousand each. Okay, so one hundred k. Okay. I think I'm done. Okay. Do you want to go back to the store to see if it's open anymore, or...? I mean, that's more for Jamie and yeah, I know. Eric to decide. That's what I'm asking, that I'm asking. Them. What? My dog, my dog pissed on the floor, so I'm cleaning it up. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I mean, if we can take one more stop, but it's not like we can enter and take the item if they're closed still. Yeah. Probably. He's clearly in there. Just didn't want to open. Oh yeah, we'll go back to the store a bit later. You go back to the store and um, it's a little bit. You see some movement going on, but it is still closed. But there's a lot more movement now. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can. I can't break down the door. I've got weak strength. I'm gonna get rowdy this time. Um, start screaming, drawing attention to the shop. Hey, I can see you in there, that sort of thing. Okay. Um, uh, you watch as coming to the door... There is a very large ogre. Oh, shit. Uh, and he uh, says, We're closed. I made an order and I want to pick it up. <laughs> wow. He grits does he answer me? Does that. No, he just goes, oh. He growls at you. Sorry, did I stutter? Did I use words with more than two syllables? Does that confuse you? I need to pick up a ring. I have a receipt. Fight, 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 fight. Oh, fight, I don't know, I don't give a fuck. Give me the receipt. I pull it out, I show him it, but I don't hand it to him. Okay, he looks at it. Then he shuts the door as he walks back in, like backwards, and then he walks over, you see him walk, and he actually shuts the blinds, 
as he does so. What the actual fuck? I don't think we're getting our ring. Hmm. Well, Do you have any suggestions there? Um, <laughs> I have a feeling not. And I have no idea if this is actually the shop owner. Because you I, don't I remember? Well, no, I wasn't the one that went there, Bryce was. Oh shit, you're right. <laughs> I don't know if this is the shop owner or not. I don't think an ogre would be the shop owner. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm a bit like. Um, about two minutes I'm go break by. Down the door. Oh, never mind. I'm oh, gonna okay. wait two minutes. Do you want to wait no, two, minutes? wait two minutes? Do you want to break down no? the door? I have this inkling in the back of my head. Oh, okay. He's like, I think we should wait for two minutes. Okay. And then right down the door. Mm -hmm. So, two minutes go by. <laughs> and nothing... No, I'm joking. Uh, and, <laughs> um... Uh, the... You see, as a halfling opens the door and says, Come in. Quickly. Oh, shit, okay. I quickly usher Eric in. And shut the door behind it. Let me see your receipt, please. I pulled the receipt out again. Uh, and he looks at it, and he, he tries to go to take it. I snatch it away. I go, ah, ah, ah. I, I am the shop owner. You know, I just had a big ogre very rudely tell me you guys were closed. I... I so uh, ask to see the receipt. And then all of a sudden... I bought a bodyguard inside. because of you. A bodyguard? Your friend. What? Your friend. He came by. Mm-hmm. And he wanted this... This ring. Uh, yes. That's what I'm here to pick up. What's the problem? There have been tons of people asking me about it. What about the ring? Yes, about the ring. About the about the gem that he showed me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. You Bryce, you stupid motherfucker. <laughs> My god, what do you mean? Are you okay, sir? I had to show him the gem so he knew what he was making the setting for. Well, oh did you, my did you God. though? Did you though? Yeah, because he wouldn't have made the setting powerful enough without knowing. He just really? wanted to brag. <laughs> but I have. <laughs> he says, okay. look, I have created the item. I need you to take it. I need... I need you to take it from me. And I need to leave as soon as possible. Please, I am in the mi middle Do of packing up. Money for passage? Do you need money for passage or anything? I'd like to compensate you for my idiot friend. Whatever you can give me, it is fine. He already paid in full. It is enough for me to get out of here. But, look, just please take it and get out of my sight. I do not okay. want any of this. I shall drop the receipt, take the ring, pick up my halfling, and get the fuck out of there. Got my halfling. <laughs> Just so you know, there's. Oh, here are the other door. This what is does Eric say? Cigar. Just so you know, uh, there's. Hello? Cigar? Oh. Is my mic not working? I mean, it's, it's coming and going. It's just going in and out, buddy. Hold on, I'll be back. Kind of sounds like you're doing it on purpose for effect. Uh, it sounds uh, really cool. But... Uh, 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 uh. Hey, um, guys. <laughs> yeah. While Doc's AFK, mm -hmm. Kia probably would see on the receipt that Bryce paid half in advance. <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't even know that. Yeah. If he forgets, he forgets. <laughs> and I mean, I paid half fault. for my gun as well. Yeah, Sorry. and it's his own fault for not having wireless headphones, so he <laughs> would hear this, so... I mean, you know. Mm. Cables are for suckers. I use, I use wired headphones. I know, this is why we talk shit about you when you're in the tier. 
<laughs> yeah, it makes it a lot easier as well. So I'm doing my makeup right now, and I can hear you guys. Yeah, I've found a lot of the wireless ones are not great. That's uh, these are fucking dollars. amazing. <laughs> I, they are, have like infinite amount of like battery charge and great range and obviously fantastic quality. Yeah, these ones were cost me a buck or two. Oh, fucking worth it though. <laughs> and since I've not been doing a great deal in this session, I've been on ESO and I've made 14,000 gold robbing people. Good, good, good for you. I don't. Sad. Yeah. Good Hello, for you. I'm back. Hi. Welcome back. Okay. So. Uh, yeah. You guys leave. What did What did Seeger say? Uh, there's a, can again. you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we can hear you now. Okay. Uh, my internet was cut now. Um, no. Are you saying that did there's? Did you tell a, that um... there's multiple gems? No. Oh, okay. Not Go insane. Ahead. I know, I tell him that there's a memory erasal service down the street. Oh, okay. <laughs> you forgot to ask him to make you four more of those? Yeah. Oh, that's... <laughs> very happy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. By, yeah, by, yeah. by, by the way, can you just knock me up four more of those while you're... <laughs> yeah. Um, no, you don't think he would? Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna guess. You can ask. I'm not there, so... Oh shit! Uh, before I forget, I'm giving the robe of arc arc magi, magi and cloak of invi invi invisibility. Thank you. To um, what's her face? I already took the cloak of invisibility. Yeah, I, in that case, robe of arc, he, arc he, mag he take, magi. He takes the cloak to off. Priscilla. Yeah, per, to Priscilla. Yeah. Okay. Why to Priscilla? She takes it because she's a caster. <laughs> Doesn't have an answer for that. I'm, I'm just not understanding why you. Um, I don't know. She's useless. You guys should. I'll be back in one minute, guys. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So you are all back at the ship after having done all of your stuff. Almar is back as well. Um, yeah. Tight. Mm hmm. Or not, not at the captain? ship. Sorry, not at the ship. You you guys are at the rendezvous point that you said. Oh, yeah. uh, where the, the old man is sort of sitting on a bench nearby a food stall eating, eating like a pretzel with cheese. Oh, cool. Where do you get one of those? That, that looks really good. He just sort of points with his mouth full to the food stall he's looking at. I'm gonna run and grab one. Cause that that sounds dope, and I'm hell hungry. Yeah, you get a pretzel with cheese. I'm living vicariously through my character. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I've gone full meta. I'm also Damn. very hungry myself. Can't you tell? I put food in my. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, so yeah, the, the the man, the old man, is there to uh, to bring you back if you'd like. Right. Yeah, uh, we are. We have done all the things, right? Correct. All the things. And we have do do have the dwarven crew, or is it more like they will come later, or? Uh, well, twenty people cannot be taken back with you. <laughs> That's very true. I didn't think this through. No, you did not. Okay. Um, so I they do arrive you with you. They do arrive with you, with the old man, and then they're like, "Wait, there's just one guy." I have gonna teleport us. I have portable holes. Um. No. Says Two people man. can fit in one hole. I have ten of them. They're twenty people. Let's do this. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, Great first impression as a captain. Yeah. All right. Never mind. I mean, if you if you pay us, if you pay us each a hundred gold, they say, they will do it. Deal. 
Okay. They, they get in the holes. See, that's a power move. You're that's a power move. Them all, aren't you? <laughs> that's a power move, though. <laughs> Lick my boot. I won't. I'll just do it for like 10,000 bucks. Okay, deal. Or, okay. Uh, um, okay. <laughs> do it, you little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You As they're sitting there, I, I'm just like doing this with the goal, like, yeah. Get, a, get, get in those holes. You so, goal, you are so, so wasteful. You, that, right? you yes, need to be yes. throwing copper, man. Come on. <laughs> yeah. I, I want to know, Doc, from the time that he puts the first person into the first hole, closes it. Opens the second hole, loads that one, closes it. Opens the next one, loads that, closed. By no. that time, is the ten minutes up on the first hole? By the I time open all of the them up at the same time. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Do you really think Frawl would think of that? Yeah. Guys. Yeah. You are overcomplicating the yeah, shit yeah. out of this because I am sure there's a dwarven citadel along the way near Casa. Yeah. It's but probably that one. Been, that would have been far. Far too easy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sense. Why hire professional dwarves when you can hire the guys hanging out at Casa? Well, Casa are the low life that we need, and not that the ones that we deserve. Wait. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes perfect sense, actually. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so you uh, get to. You get all the portable holes, you very quickly paint, plane shift, and uh, you're back on the ship. Cool. Back at the cargo bay, near Did the ship. Did everything go well, Captain? Well, we got some new crew members. Oh, shit. Yeah, and he's got something. <laughs> 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 I was trying to get you into the conversation so you'd forget about yeah. it. No, 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 no. Uh, you did you the very complete quickly opposite. open up the portable holes. By the time you get to the 10th one, they're very much out of breath. Uh, but they're they're all right. Wait, wait. So did you go out of order? Did you release the first people last? <laughs> right. I forgot to tag them. Like, shit. First in, <laughs> first in last out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes, you should look the cr on, on the crew. Uh, and and when all these people start jumping out of portable holes, uh, Alistair is not thrilled with this. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of guns being pointed around for a few moments. Well, I did say new crew members, Alistair. Calm down. Out of portable holes. Well, we had a transportation issue, and we managed it. You you hired more people than you had capacity to transport safely. Uh, we transported them. So the safety part was solved through innovation. But, sir, Bentley, like, I'll get a new contract, Captain. <laughs> it'd be best to remember this isn't a GIF-operated ship. That's becoming more and more clear by the day. <laughs> How All right. does this ship continue to function? Well, Lock suddenly mostly. you hear a very loud boom. Gun. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Where? It's actually coming from inside the ship. Oh, shit. Oh, God. We haven't checked Seeking on... Uh, we haven't checked on what's-his-face in a while. Checking with the gate stuff. No, no. no. I, I was doing that he while was. you were gone. Yeah. Oh. I've I've just left him to come meet you when you got back. Yeah. Alistair, you had one job. <laughs> uh, it's, it's you like a... you run over to the ship, and I'm guessing a, a few of you follow. Mm -hmm. uh, you yep. watch as in the cargo bay there is a humongous troll creature with. Both of their heads just splatted across the, the, the you know, I did leave all over the cargo bay. Oh. Um, Roderick is sort of like shell shocked because he just fired a huge gun, um, and three of the people like are also now, sort of it? like three three of the other people who are who have aimed guns are sort of also shell shocked, uh, and there's a gate open. To what appears to be like a meadow. Oh, 
<laughs> I told you, that's quite probably loud, like isn't... the guardian of the forest there, so that'll yeah. have repercussions for decades. Yeah, Roderick goes, what? <laughs> it's quite loud, isn't it? I can't hear you. The gun's quite loud. <laughs> <laughs> How did I do? I did okay. <laughs> Chance up. I like, just walk over and pat him yeah. on the back. Frawl does a like, great job and says, Alistair, that was great thinking. We really seem to need, have needed that. <laughs> I pat Roderick on the back and just give him the thumbs up. I'll go ahead and close the gate. Uh, what, what gate <laughs> number was that? That was gate number three. That was the last one. Ah, okay. So it'll be, it'll be ready to go next morning. Well, what'd you find? Well, I would have been there for the first two, so I could probably update on that since Roger was still mm -hmm. deaf. Yeah, so for the first her... two, mm -hmm. Alistair... Where's uh, the fun in that? Alistair knows that the first one is actually a uh, desert area on Realm. Oh shit, we need to write this down. Oh shit, desert area on Realm, we could... Fuck the uh, shit. <laughs> the second by portal mm -hmm. seems to be a um, what's it called? Hold on. The public restroom on Cass. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> It's like one, a, of, one of the six has got to be Brawl. What yeah, kind of wizard doesn't yeah. have a portal? Like, it's brawl? a public restroom. It has, like, a little hole in it inside. It's super weird. Uh, it actually seemed to be a volcano lair on Kryn. Which right. has to be... Has to be uh, both Casey and Madman are writing it down. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it Very actually nice. seems to be like a in not an inhabited like a it looks to be like a lost lair basically, um, of, on Kryn. Um mm. Seems to be some sort of base of operations. Uh, nobody's you didn't see anybody through the gate, but you didn't go through the gate, so you you have to do more investigation. Uh, so it's probably the guy who owned that cubic gate. Home. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Probably. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's sort of like a volcano lair. Um, uh, and the last one is obviously a meadow um, in the middle of... Give me a second. Uh, Seldar. The F Seldar the space. Or C. Uh, with an S. Seldar. Oh. Okay, cool. Alright then, we are heading towards Realm and uh, after that to Grey. Uh, and he's gonna... S uh, oh yeah, he's gonna divvy out all the sending stones to everyone. So everyone has at least one and keep the rest. And then he's gonna say that over the sending stones to everyone. Considering that we've just found a portal to our destination, would it not be more efficient to travel ahead and have the ship catch up? Uh, that might, but we ne still need to get the ship in moving, and we don't know what will happen in Refuge. I don't want to go ahead to Realm and then uh, realize that the ship got held up in Refuge. I say when we get past the Sphere of Refuge, we can get ahead and scout ahead. Can we travel through the queue while going through the flop? So I can't correct him on that. Hmm. <laughs> can we travel through the queue, even if we are through the flog No. Flog? No. Yeah, no. 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 <laughs> Out of character, I was screaming that, but in character, I would not have known um, yeah. Uh, you guys where, where are we right now? We're quite mirror. Clear. You're in, you're in, uh, Mirror, yeah? Yeah, which uh, part? Space station. 
I can't see that where mirror is on the map. Uh, in between in... Casa and Refuge. In between, uh, on the yellow give, line, give me a, in between give me a Casa number and Refuge. And the letter. Uh, it is uh, K8. Thank you. I didn't have the map open, I just know it's on the inner yellow line. Yeah. Right smack dab in the middle of KA. Um, but yeah, you are in Mirror. You're on the um, eastern side of Mirror, so you, you could just leave through the sphere. Uh, so, uh, Persilla, what do you think of what you've seen so far? You've been. Scylla is pretty amazed, honestly. If, if She asks you if everything is like that, is like the station. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Uh, um, each just, place is unique in itself. Okay. Just as a reminder, Madman, we don't need to worry about refuge because that's the home world, our home sphere of the arcane. Which means there's n no danger there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's no it's, danger it's, there because, you know, they totally don't want anything you have. Yeah. Why would they well, sure, that? but they're not going to rob our ship in the middle of refuge. No, no of they just not. confiscate it because it's their area. It yeah. would not matter if we were there. Is uh, what I'm saying. I mean, I, I don't want to risk it. If anything, the ship would be about five million times safer if we were not on it in refuge. <laughs> That's actually true. So but. we're taking the long way? No, 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 no. If no, we're going, we to... have a portal that would take us directly to Realm. Yeah, and then the but... ship could fly there and meet us. And I'm saying that we should make sure that the ship actually gets to Realm, and as it's leaving, we go ahead with the cube. Okay, but that's that just <laughs> that's just me, because otherwise well, something is bound to happen to it while I'm it's just, in I'm Realm. So you want to go through Refuge first. Dangerous. Sorry, you guys, for speaking at once. So, sorry, I'm just, again? Saying, I'm, I'm just saying that us being on the ship in Refuge could be worse. No, yeah, that's what I'm... Refuge is the safest place for tradesmen, okay? So, but a big a... whale ship transferring goods through Refuge is not unusual at all. Yeah, but if they, if they know our identities, they also know about the ship. Yeah, I so what right I'm back. saying is... I'm gonna go use really... the bathroom wouldn't matter if we were there or not. Well, yeah, because we will lose the ship. They, what I'm saying is if they have any way of detecting the gems, all of a sudden we are we make the ship a target by being on board, whereas the ship on its own without us is probably... Well, I have target. both the gems, so why don't me and pick two crew members go to Realm first, and then we can meet you guys there? I'm fine with that, or I'll I'll go with you if you want to. Right By end. meet us there, you guys are realizing how far of a trip that is, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, oh, well, it's, fine. it's two weeks. What, there's no inns no. in Realm? Yes, no it is. stay in Realm? That, those yeah. aren't, guys, we had this mistake last time. Those aren't days. That's the number of weeks it takes to travel. Oh, shit. That's that's the randomly generated uh, D13 or, or uh, a D, or 13 D10 or whatever. And it, it takes weeks to travel, not, yeah. see, I, not days. See, the problem is, I A, don't want to split the party, and B, I don't want to uh, leave the ship behind and just... We've left the ship behind arrives. every single time we've yeah, went Yeah, and it's a shit adventure. idea every time. Yeah, the ship is a shit idea. No. Yes, it is. It's a giant paint on our on us, a giant target. But only it doesn't matter. The gems. That's the only thing that we really need to worry about. I mean, if you want to stay with the ship, fine. But just remember, you're going to be in the flow away from us for months. No, That's I'm cool. Saying... I'm cool with that. Or yeah, yes, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm just saying that we make the ship a much larger target yeah. by being on it in that sphere. Yeah. I, I just don't want it to be again that we the second we get access to ma magic we don't we just abandon ship and we just teleport to each and every single place. I think a lot of spell jamming disappears if we don't spell jam. 
Well, we don't, ha we don't Dude. have the ability to, to teleport everywhere, but this is a specific case where we do have a direct line there. Sure, I, I get that. Just send me forward. Send me forward with two crew members, whether it's party members or not, and then you guys can go through the spelljammer. It may take weeks, but that's okay. It also gives Whoa. us a chance to get the lay of the land in the sphere. No, it, it's more than than weeks. Yeah, you're it's, going from yeah, it's refuge, more like it's, it's more like ten. That's almost three ten. Months. That's a minimum of a week. Okay, yeah. and then on top of that, you have a minimum of thirty nine days to peer tell, which is a very small sphere on its own. Wait, it's where? a trade route. Where? And then you have. Wait, hang on. What are you looking at do, now? Do do do. Wait, where wait. Oh shit! No, no, no. Wait. Sorry, my bad. Seven. Mirror. Yeah. Realm. Ignore yeah. I said that. Yeah. But so still, it's... it's you're you're ten, talking seven. You've got a 10 and then a 7. Yeah. It's not not that far. Yeah. That's fine. I, I can wait that long. I've got Daz's eye as well, so I can try to figure out at least a direction of where the next gem will be in Realm. Mm -hmm. You should uh, take one of the... What's it called? The uh, crystal ball of uh, one of them, like true seeing, so you can like kind of scout out shit while you're there. It looks like scry. Yeah, I think so, and it gives you a specific like you you can scry with true sight, and the other one is you can scry with te uh, telepathy, and you can scry with mind reading. So, I think uh, two. Give Mm -hmm. Give give them to Alistair the the true seeing one. I don't mm -hmm. know what to do with one of those. Yeah, that's true. Okay, give it to me then, because yeah. I don't know what to do with it either. Al Alistair, the thing is with with, with the changes that Five E has made, Alistair can use magic items, but aside from like combat oriented enchantments, the gifts still aren't really comfortable trusting magic. Well, of course, it, it literally doesn't, like, it affects them different. Like, it, it doesn't no, 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 affect you as strongly as others. they remove that. No, I know, and, and, but it's still, it's still a, me a measure of you have resistance, don't you? No, they've taken all that away, that's what I'm saying. Well, it's still lore-wise, though. They just, they just though. made it a cultural lore that they don't trust it. Mm. They've actually taken it's away all of the effects on it. Basically, they, they've made it, made it a whole, we trust a strong arm or a gun a lot more than this whole magic thing we don't understand. Mm -hmm. Which is why in the Fenris game I had a gift board, because they can be magic users now, but uh, it's just very rare for them. Mm. So, should we do that? We send Alistair yep. and uh, Kia ahead. Kia and one yeah. more, like, um, can Gregor heal? Uh, yeah, oh, we, ha we have three clerics on board, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. We so we'll just send, send one of the clerics, um, and then if there well, is. I'd rather have. Um, What's going to draw less attention? Us kind of, teleporting I, will I, draw I'm less kind of attention. I'm thinking Gregor because Gregor can heal and fight. So if we do run into trouble, at least, you know, mm. us two can fuck shit up, but Gre um, Gregor can at least fuck shit up and heal. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with that. Um, Captain? Yeah. I'm fine with that. And okay. we have... And we have... Um, and we keep the other two crystal balls on ship, so from there I think we have a good, pretty good like scanning possibility, because then two people can do individual scrying while we are on the ship, which is pretty good. Okay, cool. We got a plan. Storming outside. Huh? Oh, it's storming outside like hell. It's just nice. Fat raindrops. That's cool. Isn't it summer there? Yeah, I like love torrential to rain right now. It rains a lot in the summertime. Mm. Where the hell are you living? Washington rains a lot. 
we're on the west coast, so you know, right next to the ocean, shit like that. It's a name but, to the press. Yeah, but like, I'm right next to the coast. Uh, Do you not get rain? Not in ring the of spell it's turning. Louisiana gets rain all year round. Uh, Casey, ring yep. of spell turning. Would your gift be interested in that? Would Alistair be interested in that? Um, it gives you resistance, and if you roll a 20 on the saving throw, it reflects the spell. Yeah, I'd be interested in that. Okay, I'll remove it that stops, from Priscilla. It stops magic from messing with me, so yeah. Yeah. I'll remove that from Priscilla and give it to you then. Cool. Cool. Priscilla, that nice ring I gave you, give it back. Yeah! I didn't mean it. I mean, I put the... I put a ring on that finger, and, and then, then I took it away. It. Yeah, you did. <laughs> well, Gregory should have put a ring on it. Well, you know? If you like it. Should have put a ring on it. You lost Gregory. You fucked up. It's a cock ring. Up. <laughs> <It's a> cock <laughs> ring. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's just... Yeah. I mean, you know, while we're sat there, we could just... Spend, spend a couple weeks playing cards. Yeah. I'm cool with that. We're gonna find I a guess direction. I'm gonna be identifying a little, items. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, everyone else is are partying on the boat. I got, just I like, got, this, yeah, I got this new deck of cards, Kia, and we can just sit and you know play cards for a couple weeks while we wait. Mm. That sounds like a plan. Yeah. He's talking about the <laughs> deck of many things. Oh, is he Sega? Oh, is that the only deck he has? Oh, I didn't realize. Man, thank God you're here. I would have been so, so confused and lost. You're welcome. The big, scary I knew, I knew, I knew he had the deck. By the way, if you didn't get that. I didn't ask your fucking opinion, did I? No, don't take it back. <laughs> Own up to your actions. Yeah, we, we actually would respect you more if you didn't pussy out and take it back. Okay. So guys, we have seventy-one crew members right now. I think we are we are at full capacity. We cannot sustain this, Madman. We can't. <laughs> no. Eventually, crew gold's is gonna... ninety. Crew uh, max crew is ninety. I think we still need to pay energy. them. Oh, we yeah, still I'm... need to pay them, and we need to pay for their food. We're fine. We're fine. Did You're... you spend all he our money? Wants... Yeah, he spent most of the money. No, I didn't. I spent That's like. Fine. I didn't spend all of it. I spent like. Actually, I asked if he spent all of it. He spent most. Yeah, I, combined, I spent 300k. So that's really nothing. And now people who we don't want our ship can't fucking teleport on onto our ship because we have a forbidden generator. And that's badass. It it'll it'll only stop the teleport up until the forbidden field, which they can just then float on board. Uh, well, yeah, but that would mean they would have Better to getting on board, board the ship. And like the a bunch one, of Vecna and the followers. one person who we actually want to stop from teleporting on will just have his magic ring not have it work anyway, so that it won't even fix that. Well, uh, this way we will at, at the very least not be boarded by fucking wizards. Unless they're like plot wizards. Exactly. I mean, there are ways around for Vince, I'm fairly sure. Uh, here's if you're, the, if you're spell. in theory, if you get an anti-magic field up just after the teleport, then the Forbins wouldn't stop it. Well, if you can't teleport that, it yeah. into it yeah, to no. begin with. Internet uh, forbidden proofs against area against planet travel, and therefore prevents creature from accessing that area by way of astral plane, ethereal plane, Feywell, Shadowell, or plane shift spell. In addition, the spell damage types of creatures that you choose when you cast it. Whoa, what? In addition, spell damage types of creatures that of creatures that you choose when you cast choose one or more of the following celestial elements feel are dead. When a chosen creature enters the spell area first time on the turn and starts yeah, so five to ten radiant. Fuck. But that's, should only, we use? that's only going to affect celestials, elementals, fey, fiends and undead. What should we one of them? Oh no. One or more. Choose all of oh, them. Oh we should yeah, we should choose all of them. We don't want any fey on board or any of those. Uh, that yeah. immediately Jamie. means that Kia. Actually, elves, yeah. elves are Bye not. Guys. Elves are not. And also, Rick. Creatures. 
I think Rick counts as an aberrant. Or uh, uh, elemental. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Is he an elemental? Oh, so it doesn't stop demons. Great. Fiends. Fiends. It stops. Yeah. The fiends. Uh, that's aberrants are, are like demons. Fiends, fiends are devils. No. Aberrants are like shooting mind stuff. players and and crazy yeah. chaos shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fiends are all of the lower planes, devils, demons, and yugoloths. Uh, aberrants are bizarre creatures, but they're not devils or demons. So yeah, it wouldn't stop. I'm back. Them. Welcome back. Wouldn't stop what? We were forbidden talking about useless. the Forbidden Field and how it's basically useless because Thernos will just magic his way onto the ship anyway. <laughs> well, but it means that other magic users won't fucking. Yeah, but other and magic users have not guys, with guys, us. this is the most important thing now. Finally, people will use the fucking doors on these fucking spell jammers. They will just not miss the step everywhere. Right? This is the important part. <laughs> like, oh, I'm gonna walk past the door. Fuck that. I'll teleport. No? No more of that shit. No more. I don't see what your problem with that is. If you... Does that mean if we encounter a fight, the magic users are pretty much fucked? Uh, I mean... As far as teleportation goes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's so, fine then. So they can't really infiltrate the ship and just drop some bombs and then yeah, fuck off. Yeah, but ours also can't escape if we get attacked. Yeah, but we don't have like. Do we have anyone who can cast teleport among us? Okay. Well, oh. we had the problem to begin with. Yeah, but we have exactly you, you this have, time. We do have a wizard. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But in previous campaign, we had a shit ton of them who could teleport. Therefore, it wasn't worth it. This time, we have one, and fuck him. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, Doc, I'll go ahead and identify the hundred or so items yeah. during this trek. That's yeah. ten a day. So, ten um, days. Did we decide? So. Are we taking um, the paladin or a, a cleric? I think we should ask the paladin to join. Okay. Gregor. The paladin. Yeah. Alistair hasn't learned his name. Gregor. <laughs> <laughs> Gregor uh, is uh, at current um, having a drink with Falgas and uh, uh, what what is his name again? The dwarf. Uh, um, Delmok. Delmok. Steelbuster. So many NPCs, man. Yep. The suicidal you one. Have, you have to name the new twenty dwarves now, by the way. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. <laughs> Stimpy, grumpy, uh, Doc. And... <laughs> Stumpy, Stumpy, <laughs> Ren. Alright. Uh, yeah, so I guess... Each personality as well. We want to know their wants, their dreams, their desires. One is grumpy, yeah. one is hungry, one is sleepy, one is dopey. <laughs> yep. I, I guess me, Alistair, and Kia, and Eric all approach uh, the, the other adventuring team. Yeah, they're just sort of chilling. Are we finally on our way to uh, to Realm? Uh, we are, we are. Uh, and actually, we, uh, some of us are going to take a sh little shortcut while the ship is getting there. We found a cubic gate, and one of the destinations are Realm. That's fantastic. Yeah. So... Out of character, remind me why did they want to go there? Well, it's just faster. We're not no, no, why did they? They were wanting to get there. Oh, they're looking for that beholder, right? No. No, no, they they had the dragon sphere yeah. of the, the thing. kind, dra the orb of dragon kind. Yeah. Um, so, I, I still think that. Uh, how about this? So they right now, want to go. yeah, exactly. Right now, I think our our uh, our special storage because uh, Bryce had this magical device that could shield it from all kinds of scrying inside the other storage, which is in the uh, harbor bay, and there are traps and protections. Is currently the safest place for it, and 
I don't know if you have a specific destination in mind and realm, but I suggest that some of you go ahead, find a good location for this thing, and uh, have be ready for when the ship arrives. So basically, you scout ahead while we transport the thing, so we don't spend time there looking for a safe place. Uh, well, we already know where the safe place is. Oh, where's that? It's a, um, the Grand Cathedral of Bahamut. In Rome. Oh, yay! Uh, uh is that... Uh, I, it's been a while, I don't think I've been to Rome space, actually, but... Uh, we're in Realm, on Realm, is a desert. Hmm... Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Get that map up. <laughs> yeah. What is it called? Fuck, Faerun. It's um ow shit, what do they call it? It's what used to be the Arabian setting and then they merged it into Faerun. Al Karid? Al no, not Al Karid. Al, Al, Al Al Kazad, like I believe, yeah. Something, something like, like that. that. As soon as you said desert on Faerun, that's what I immediately thought. Mm. It's bloody. It's what used to be the Arabian Nights D and D setting, and then when they Arabian got real Nights bunch of the settings, they merged it into Forgotten Realms. Yeah. So, uh, well, we, yeah. it's called Anarok. Well, um, we, st we still kind of need to actually get the ship over there, and we would uh, like to finish, uh, see this through with all of you, considering how much time we spent together. And so, what you have done for us as well. Oh, yes, definitely. <clears throat> so, so we uh, ask Chase. What are you exactly asking? Do you, do you want us all to go? Because we would like to go. Uh, if possible, could uh, some of you go with uh, Key and Alistair here and uh, scout ahead? Because we would feel safer with some of you with them. Uh, kind of looking at Gregor. You did great last time. We're thinking maybe again. <laughs> and uh, the rest of us kind of join together there in uh, uh, two weeks or so. Why don't we just take the orb through? Because <laughs> we kind of want to go with them. Then but yeah, why don't we all just go, go and, the orb. and then we can just come back to the ship. How? Or have the ship come to us? Plane shift. The the gate or the cube can plane shift. Yeah, but not but here. This is not one of the destinations. Yeah. All right. The only way that um, a plane shift to here would work would be if we left the cube here and every day at a set time had them open the gate and if we were back at the original location we could step back through. Mm -hmm. That also does not work as soon as the ship moves into the flodge. And we need the ship when we move to, towards Grey, so we can't leave the ship here Which either. Is why we need the ship to come and catch up to us, but yeah. we can go ahead with them, drop off their orb, conduct our mission, and that will give our ship time to catch up to us. I mean, out of character, guys, if we, if you guys want to do this, we can do this. I just feel that our ship is going to be fucked with us, uh, without us involved with it. Yeah, uh Somehow, I'd rather someone I, a PC. I, I just know that somehow something will happen, and we are not then going and, and we're going to have a ship or a crew or anything, and that's going to be a whole thing. And we, like, in reality, we don't really have time restraint on any of this. <laughs> yes. So if we were in a hurry, I would agree, but we're really not, right? I mean, not really. No. 
it just both in and out of character seems more dangerous to to take the long way around. All right. To to take the gems out of character, especially in character. I'll be honest with you, Alistair's not bothered. Yeah. Doesn't. Give I've a shit. already agreed to go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. The captain. Yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, I'm saying splitting it up. Yeah. The ship. Yeah. This is fine. But, but out of character, I'm saying taking the gems through refuge. No, no, no. I'm not arguing for that. I'm not arguing for that. Yeah. But I can't I was... see any reason why uh, they would stick around once we get them where they're going. Yeah. That's always been their plan is to get there and depart. Well, yeah, but we're trying to kind of smooth them up to actually staying on the ship after they've completed this. Yeah, it was, you know, we were, they're like told them that we will agree to stick with them, see yeah. this through, if they can just help us out this one last time. To stay with the ship, make sure it's safe, gets to realm. What the fuck's my belt? He... I would say that Falagos and Almar... Mm-hmm don't like the idea because they want the, the orb to get to the temple as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. And if you have a way to get get it there as soon as possible, that's, you know, uh, he'd like right. it to happen. But um, Gregory and Delmonk are fine with it. Um, uh, no. I mean, it's your sphere. Let's do it uh, that could, way in that case. Is there a... Is there an option then? If those of us going ahead could take the sphere with those of you who come with us, and the rest remain to guard the ship with our allies, would that work? If if they if Falcos, they all wanted to see this through, but, okay, yeah. But I, I mean, in that case, uh, all they of can you... they can they can make the. I mean, they. All they of you want go to ahead. See this through, but yeah, but yeah. it's okay. No, no, no. Let's uh, all of you go ahead in that case, and we'll basically just meet you at the Temple of Bahamut. We'll want to see the pedestal it's on, I guess, or something like that. So, are you saying now that me and Kia and their entire group go ahead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. That's I'm, okay. I'm fine with that. Okay. Yeah. All right. And Let's go with Kia that. Kia and Alistair will go with them to drop off the orb mm -hmm. and then meet yep. the ships when they arrive at the Temple yep. of Bahamut. Yeah. Yes. We'll stay in Should that we... city once we get there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then perhaps, even though they've then completed their mission, maybe they'll stick around in the city long enough to meet back up with us and celebrate the completion of the journey. Yeah, ho hopefully. <laughs> One can hurt. Uh, so, do you want to do this uh, on this day? Or would you like to wait a day and then do it? Actually, you can't, because you already used the gates. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we're going to start so moving Is there anything towards... you want to do before the day? Because you are at the the sphere's edge. Nothing if you for go Alistair, any further, I'll be in one minute though. Sorry. Okay. Uh, if you go any further through the sphere, you will get to the end of the sphere and then have to go through into the flush system. We still have Dimble with us, right? He's just staying with us now. Uh huh. Huh? Yes. Yes. Cool. I will add Dimble to our list. Oh, you forgot about him. Yeah. I mean, he's been useless. Every fight, he's like, I'm going <laughs> to run away and not do anything. He got us to where away. we were going to begin with. He got us there when we needed directions. And then now he's basically dead weight. An extra mouth to feed. Love you, Dimble. Dude. Oh. Oh, Dimble, a guy who didn't know where to go. Added. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So, yeah, let's do that. All right. Is there anything you want to do before you guys sleep, go the next day? Anything you want to do for the last day, I mean? 
I think we've done a lot of maintenance. Or... Yeah. Hmm? I want to speak with Fral. Yeah, I just want to speak to Fral quickly. Okay. Okay. I'm back. So you meet him in the captain's quarters? Cost, 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 cost. Cost, cost, cost. Yes. Captain. Come in. Yes, yes. I Shut up. Sort of like walk into standard attention. Shut the door behind me. Mm hmm. We never spoke about what happened in the soul gem. Uh, well, a lot of things happened real quickly there. Yeah, no. You I said did, you I... would speak afterwards. I did. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I don't really know where to start. I thought more it sounded good in the moment. <laughs> what, what, what do you want to know? Your old, well, your old captain. What what happened? Oh. No alarm. Well, we were uh, attacked, or rather, there was a battle, uh, I guess, and there were the Niogi, and uh, some bad calls were made, and uh, a lot of people died, including my captain. I think, uh, in retrospect, I think I could have done things to prevent it. I, uh, I, had, I had watch, and I didn't see them coming. I didn't pay attention. So they caught us by surprise. You can't blame yourself for that, so... Mm. No. <laughs> so... <laughs> well, I mean... Sure I can. I mean, that's part of it, right? You kind of bring... You, kinda, you gotta bring your ma mistakes with you so you make sure you don't make them again. How about you? It's I mean, you, you, you had a little you. cottage and stuff like that. Just don't try to make this all about me. Like, I... uh, uh, that was uh, a long time ago. Um, that was I found my son in that cottage. You found your son? Well, uh, how I remember him, he should be much older than that now. I. Everyone else, when we pass through the gem, uh, the, the people that I encountered were dead. But the last time I saw my son, he was very much alive. 